Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I would be showing on how to create agent using OpenAI Agent SDK, which was recently released. So let's create both the chart agent as well as the voice agent as well. Let's see how we can do the both with this almost similar code. Okay, the agent creation and everything will be similar for both. So let's see how we can do that. So let's let's first explore the chart agent and then the voice agent. I'll show you the demo and then I'll show I will explain the code. So let me run the chart agent first. When I run it, it is asking HR related query. So, so my agent here does the two things. One is check availability. It will check whether the interview slots are available or not. And the second thing, it will be able to book the interviews. Like if you want to book an interview, it can even book an interview. So let's assume it's an HR related agent, a simple agent, very basic uh, stuff we have done here, nothing complex. I'll explain the code. So now let me type the query. See, if you see, I have typed this question, please book an interview on uh, 2025-0603 for Pravin. So let me enter this. This is the user input. My agent is running now. And now if you see the interview has been, uh, the interview for Pravin has been booked successfully on June 3rd, 2025. So let's go and check in the DB. This is the SQLite DB, which I'm using. So let me run, run a simple piece of code. If you see, I have this interview.pv file where I'm just doing a select star from interviews. That's it. So let me run that. If you see, this is the very recent one, which we have booked 2025-0603, this one. So again, I can even uh, check whether the interview slots are available or not. So let me execute this again. So now I'll type a query as. So I'm just checking. Please check if the interview slots are available for 2025-06-04. So if you see the agent has responded, the interview slots are available on June 4, 2025. So like that we are able to do the very simple work. So now what we have done? We have done the uh, chart agent, right? Like human has to manually type everything. So let's see how we can do this same how we can do the same with voice agent as well. The code is same. I'll explain the code once I test this. So let me clear this. So now let me run the voice agent code. Can you please book an interview for Praveen Reddy on 2025-0601? The interview for Praveen Reddy has been successfully booked for June 2025. Okay, so let me query that. See, if you see it has booked with the, without month as well because uh, uh, the recording has stopped before I mentioned the uh, date. Okay, that's fine. So if you see the same as done. Now I can even check uh, whether the interview slots are available on a specific date with the voice agent. So let me run this voice agent. Please confirm if the interview slots are available on 2025-0601. The interview slots are available on June 1st, 2025. See, if you see, it is able to respond. So both the voice agent and the chart agent has been tested now. So now let's go and view the code. But before that, I want to show you what is guardrails. So the first guardrails was introduced by OpenAI SDK only. Now it has been copied in the latest version of uh, Crew, A, Crew A as well. So let's check what is guardrails. So now here my question, let me run this. It is asking me the question. So I'll ask the question other than this HR related stuff. Let's say I want to know about Hyderabad. So this is a user code. If you see, we got an error. So this particular piece of code is uh, responding only if we ask the HR related questions, nothing else apart from the HR related questions. That's, that's because of the guardrails check, which we have kept in the code. So now once we see the code, you will understand. So now let's go to the code. This is HR agent. So the flow starts here. The user will input the query that's it the user input is printed and then if you see we are using this runner dot run of trig triage agent and the user input what is this runner runner is from this uh, agents uh, model from open ai okay runner this is how we run the agent in uh, open ai sdk open ai agent sdk so runner dot run of the first agent triage agent so what is this triage agent here if you see this is the triage agent so what is the name of this triage agent so how do we create the agent in uh, open a uh, agent sdk using this agent class like the same thing is being done uh, even with the uh, 
phi data or agno framework as well we use the similar kind of class called agent to create the uh, or to to create the agent so now this is an agent hr assistant so respond politely on hr related queries and route to the appropriate agent so now if you see there is a concept called handoff so this particular agent will decide the user query has to be handed off to this particular agent or this particular agent whether to book or a availability check agent that's what this handoff does handoff is like it will pass the query to the respective agent now if you see the next thing is input guardrails this is the this is the reason why we got the exception when we asked other query other than this hr related so now if you see what are we doing input guardrails equal to input guardrails this is from open ai only directly inside this we are passing the guardrails function called hr guardrails this is a function which we have implemented see this is the function so here so this function has the default argument called context okay and then the input data so now if you see runner dot run of guardrail agent we have a guardrail agent the input data okay so the, i mean to run an agent uh, in agent uh, uh, open ai agent is sdk we use runner dot run right see if you see the similar thing is done even here as well so inside this method we have another agent called guardrail agent using that agent we are just validating whether the user query is related to the hr or not so this is the input data input data nothing but the query which the user has passed and it is responding the result so now if you see here uh, while returning we are asking to return it in the structured format if you see there hr output is a class so uh, it, it it returns with these two arguments is the question related to hr query hr is the question related to hr or not the boolean yes or false and the re response so that is how it has to respond that's how like in lang chain we have with structured output right similarly here the final output as the response will be as per this particular class and the arguments of this class so now if you see this is what this particular method should return guardrail function output see output info equal to what is the output it has written and if uh, when should when should it throw an error when this output is false not we have mentioned right when output is false then we have to throw an exception that's what we are saying here so now how are we validating using this particular uh, guardrail agent and what are we doing in this agent we are creating an agent the name of the agent and we are giving instruction to this agent so determine if the query is related to hr interview scheduling only if it is related to hr interview scheduling then it returns the proper output the boolean uh, output will be yes and there will be reason for, with the string if it is not related to the hr interview the boolean will be false and if the boolean is false we are throwing an exception here okay that's how we are god railing and before triggering the main agent we are god railing by making sure the user is asking only the relevant questions that's the purpose of god rail here so as i said this is with the place where we are uh, triggering the first agent triage agent with the user input and inside this triage agent we are navigating based on the question to a specific agent and how we are doing using this handoffs and then we have got realizer to make sure the question is related to the uh, hr related only now in these two agents one agent uh, is used to check the availability of the interview slots and the second agent is used to book the interview slots that's it nothing else by using these particular tools tools are nothing but the methods here manual so if you see here what is this book interview if you see we are querying the sql light for a specific day and if the count is greater than 2 we can say we cannot book if the count is less than i mean if there are uh, only less than 3 bookings on that specific day we can book it and similarly we are just checking whether the the interview slots are available or not just a simple python stuff by querying the sql id db which is in my local here that's it so this is how we are able to create a simple agent so let me walk through again if you see this is a first the main method is triggered inside main method i am asking the query and that input is passed to this triage agent and inside this triage agent, how do we create an agent using this agent class inside this triage agent uh, it, it has handoffs to pass the query to a respective agent and before that it has guardrails it will check whether the query is valid to the hr or not 
that's it if you see this is where we are validating whether the query is related to hr or not i uh, by using an agent here again if you see runner dot run of got agent by using this particular agent and if the question related to hr then it will be nav navigated whether to availability agent or to the booking agent so this is how our chatbot uh, has been built very basic chatbot has been built so now if we go to the another uh, python code where uh, we have built a voice agent the piece of code is same the same sql uh, the, the, the same method which queries the sql like db one is for availability check one is for booking interviews and the same class same godrail agent the same method uh, the same uh, availability agent the same booking agent the same triage agent inside this triage agent same handoff same godrails everything is the same but inside this main method to build a voice agent using open a agent sdk we have a class called voice pipeline if you see the voice pipeline comes from agents dot voice from the open a agent sdk uh, now here if you see we are creating a workflow single agent voice workflow we are just creating a single agent and right now we are using a single agent right triage agent inside we have the multiple agents using handoff but directly we are using single agent only so that's why we have to use this particular class single agent voice workflow that's it now if you see the duration five seconds uh, sampling rate and all because if you see i'm using this particular sd what is sd sd is like sound device uh, python module using this i am able to record my voice so just because of this uh, my voice just because of these two lines when i speak it is being recorded using my local uh, microphone okay that's it now that input has been converted into a buffer and that has been passed to this audio input now this audio input is passed to this pipeline where is this pipeline built here using this voice pipeline and pipeline dot run of audio input it will return the result and that result is streamed and it is played how is it played using this player what is this player again sd see sound device so we are using the python uh, sound device module to record the voice and to uh, again play the voice in my local system like in the real time we create a ui and uh, we play it using the Re reactor uh, node ui right so yet the intention is to just show you on how to create a voice agent right that's it so that's it so this is how we are able to create the voice agent and the chart agent with the same piece of code that's it thank you so much for watching